Hello and welcome to the next episode of Planet Coaster. Uh, so, we're making the rest of the Haunted Houses queue today. Yeah, sorry if I sound really awkward, it's just this is very weird talking to yourself in an empty room for 10 minutes straight. Um, but, yeah. So, so, the, yeah, this is weird. Right, well, first, to the six of you, to like the five of you who watched the, the last video, hello. Um, yeah, I found out that my audio quality isn't actually that bad, so. I'm gonna use this. And besides that, it also makes it a lot easier to record videos and edit them. Because it's just taking the video and uh, talking over it. Which means I can bring them out more. And yeah, also sorry about this video being delayed. I just really wasn't feeling like making a video last week. But I, I edited a sub good deal of stuff. And Terraria isn't going anywhere. Coming out later. But, uh, anyway. So, right now, the idea for this room is that, well, simple. It's like a, a big library sort of place. I mean, it started off with that idea, but, well, it did eventually kind of just turn into a general purpose room. Yeah, you can see adding in, like, dining tables and a little area. Which, uh, yeah, it's more or less just because I'm running out of ideas on what to fill space with. I, I, I use these little pumpkin lanterns a lot around, and I think they're kind of cute. And besides that, I'm kind of trying to build this, uh, story of this house being taken over by a big pumpkin patch, as I said last episode. But, uh, yeah. Honestly, this chandelier piece is something I hadn't really ever used, but it's also pretty nice. And then uh, the wallpapers actually work pretty well as a rug. And, uh, yeah, I was trying to keep this place more, like, just spooky as in, like, ooh, dim lights, ooh, spooky lighting. But here I was just like, you know what, frick it, whatever. And, uh, I put a guy that got murdered. And then I put a strobe light on top of them. Like, I guess kind of the idea is that, like, this is like, ooh, this house, there's spooky stuff that happened. Ooh. But, well, that's kind of the already idea, so I don't really know. But. Eh. God, I, I probably sound really awkward. Uh, yeah, I'm so, so glad I found that stop, that sign. Alright, anyway, next room, which will, which, it's kind of a little hallway, and then there's also it, uh, you know, the little, like, uh, station building. And then I, sang, I spent like a f solid 10 minutes just trying to fill space there before finally just using roofs and putting them down there far enough so that it looked kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, pumpkins, didn't really like it. Yeah, crypt, well, crypt roofs. I did use those a lot, I think. And then, oh boy. Uh, oh boy, here it comes. Uh, uh, get your seatbelts ready, because it's fumbling around with pathing for 20 minutes. And I, I just give up. Yeah. So, for this, it's a, uh, I forgot they're called, but I think it's like a motion tracks platform or whatever. 
It's uh, those like rides which doesn't really have a track which you can properly see. And instead is just a uh, like, you know, it's just you go around and it moves around on its own or something. I don't really know much about them. Uh, but yeah, I also debated maybe using the, uh, it's called like the hoax in-game. But, you know, if they find to do like a, mo like a, uh, I don't know, people just walk onto it and then they leave. You know, how, like they have the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. Um, I know, Planet Coasters, one isn't really good for that. And then, adding on a roof and then some lighting. I see these wallpapers are really nice. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna get on with moving to the moving on to the uh, actual haunted house ride next episode, just because I I'm kind of scared of it. I don't really I I've never done really a dark ride before. I mean, I've seen plenty of videos and such of people doing that. Also, I really do need to take another like try at trying to fix up that little station thing. But uh. Yeah, I've never done a dark ride before, and I'm kind of like a little scared of it, just because I don't want to mess it up, which is probably bound to happen. I've also never really done interiors, I just have more or less just been putting books where there's empty space. But, you know, I, I, I like how the queue has turned out so far, and also the front of the haunted house, so it's probably going to be fine. But uh, lastly, some just pictures of what was here. Uh, yeah. Honestly, that part may be a little too cheesy, or kind of go against what I've been doing. And then the uh, station area. I think it's pretty nice. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, consider liking, subscribing, or commenting. Anyway, thank you, and see you later.